Yo, what's up guys? I'm here hitting you up with a new video. It is time we are checking out Reverse 1999. And you can tell by the title that today I want to show you on how to properly upgrade your character in this game. What are the few components you have to look for when you upgrade it? Uh, upgrade the character, where do you want to get the characters and what to focus on basically so you have an idea. So for today, what I want to show you for upgrading a character and how to do so, um, we will work together on Lilia because I really want to upgrade her because I have Centurion as my main DPS. But there are some stages where there are Earth enemies and where Centurion is weak, so I do want to get Lilia up because Lilia is a pretty strong star DPS. So we have a few components here. Obviously, you have the inside, you have the level, you have the side cubes. We will go by it step by step together. Um, first of all, I want to upgrade Lilia. So what you need for upgrading a character is you need dust and you need Sharpedonti. So I saved up a little bit of these resources here. So dust and Sharpedonti is needed. Sharpedonti is basically the gold of the game and dust is whatever you need to upgrade a character. So she's at inside level one, which gives the caster with her, like for Lilia, plus 20% critical rate. And at inside two, she gets an additional crit rate plus 10% when the caster enters battle. And at inside three, Psycube's basic critical rate bonus plus 100%. What that means right now, I'm not 100% sure myself. I have to test that. But let's start off with just leveling up Lilia to 40. So the character is now maxed to level 40 and we want to get her to inside two. So we are clicking here on what is needed. So we need gold, we need Sharpedonti for that, we have enough. But we need a couple of other things here. So we need the scrolls, which uh, you can farm from the inside dungeon. We need this resource here and we need this resource here. Let's start off just by doing the, the scrolls. So we are going to uh, the inside star for location level four. So I did not complete that one yet and I'm not 100% sure if I can, but you know what, let's try together because if I fuck up, theoretically speaking, I, can, I, I will only lose one stamina, so it's fine. Okay, let's do it together here. First of all, I start off. My team is Centurion, um, Beacorn, and Safabi. So I always, if you have Beacorn, you always want to start with the debuff first to reduce the. Um, so what the debuff basically does is mass debuff all enemies suffer reality defense minus fifteen percent and damage taken plus fifteen percent. So they have less defense and you deal more damage. And then usually whatever I need at this point. So we have two waves, right? I like to start off with like a poison debuff and then an AOE damage from Centurion. And then at the second round, usually what I like to do is so we received a little bit of damage. And since I'm running Safabi, I like to use her heal at this point because her heal is basically like a region effect. And then we are doing another AOE plus the single target with Centurion. So this situation is good, for example, because here we can swap around and boost both of these. And now I do want to debuff them again and I want to kill one of these units. Very important if you have... Um, Centurion and she's full moxie and you have her like inside two or inside one. In this kind of situation, because we know we have wave two coming up, you don't want to use her ult yet. And the thing is with a Centurion uh, is that the more moxie she has, the more damage her skills deal. So what we want to do in this is because I think it's enough to kill if we're just doing these two skills with Centurion and with Beacorn. We don't need to use anything. So what we can do in this situation is to save up on resources is we can just move a card to gain moxie for uh, Sophobie in this situation. Okay, here what I like to have is burst damage and we can burst this by, let's say, also don't neglect on these uh, effects you have down here. So I have 80 points. 
so I can generate even more out of it. And what I want to do here is I... Actually, I don't need it right now. I want to do as much poison damage as I can do. So I do two times poison and then use Selfabee's ult because her ult uh, triggers all the poison stacks. So you want to do poison, poison, and then the ult. Now that we got that one done, we have the debuff back. We use that to debuff. Now we want to use the silent effect. And we also want to use this skill here right now. And we won. I know pe people think that Beacorn is just a support, but with debuffing, but she's not only debuffing, but she also provides actually good damage to the team. So what I will do now is repeat the stage till I have 10 of these resources. So now we are done. I did one four times run. We now finished the scrolls for her. We just need one more of the spell fortune. There's like different ways to obtain that by doing stages or warehouse, which like these boxes you get at the beginning. Um, but what we want to focus on is this uh, epic resource here, this purple one, right? So how do we get this? So you can either buy it from the pawn shop, but which is probably locked right now. But the way to farm it is usually you go into the story mode. Let's go to chapter 4 free for this one in particular. So I didn't complete the stage yet on hard mode. So we have to do this one together. Considering someone's physical condition, the investiture can be... And we didn't get any of these uh, purple ones. So usually from my experience, to get these purples, you need to do like a rerun four times. And usually you get one or two from a four times run. Okay, now we are done with this. And now we can upgrade Lilia to Inside 2, which gives her an additional 10% crit rate when the battle starts. So we do that. Get her to inside too. And because of that, we unlocked her new card or her new outfit or skin. Now you have the choice between outfit one and outfit two. So now that we finished this, you can now choose to further upgrade this, but I feel like that's very expensive. So you want to be very, very cautious about what you want to upgrade all the way to level 50. Um, I refrain from doing that as of right now because I want to know what I uh, want to upgrade first before I invest too much because dust and Charpedonti is a really, really mm -hmm. scarce resource you have to build over time. Um, but let's look at the next step. So now that we got her to level one inside two, the next thing we want to look at is the side cube preference. So you get different side cubes from just doing the all uh, from, from doing the story mode. And for um, the best one right now, what is available to me for Lilia is the Covet coin, Psycube, because what it does is it gives an additional crit rate of 5%. And Lilia is very, very crit rate hungry. So I will equip that. I will also not upgrade that because what I want to do with the Psycubes is, and that's also my suggestion, to you guys is you want to do your side cube daily that's like this daily dungeon we can also check out together um you know what let's do it real quick so there we go this is now the side cube dungeon pneuma analysis i completed stage three i think i can also easily complete stage four which we will do so you can only do it twice per day make sure you do that because it gives you more resources right and um we are doing this. Okay, now we're doing this. And we're switching this up just to get moxies. We still have AoE effects. So we are going to use this card here and this card here. That should be enough. And then to gain moxie, we will switch this. Now what I like to do in this kind of situation is I always want to have the debuff. Then I'm going to kill this unit here. 
and I want to use the poison debuff as well. Now in this situation, because we have only these two units left, he has already poison and I have two poison effects and the ult from Safabi. I want to just spam poison stacks on them and then pop the poison stacks with the ult. Because that does some damage. The only thing we sadly don't have right now is the debuff. So what we're going to do is just that. Because there's literally nothing else we can do in this situation. There's only one thing we could do in Fury. Because now we can chain this. And we generate one. Combine it with this. And do the thing. To deal a little bit more damage. And now he, the boss will die now. Can move that card between here to get a free card. Like free star card. And then actually you know what. Refrain from doing that. Debuff first. Do that. And it really doesn't matter. Let's do that. And this is how you get your resources here, right? You want to do that daily. So in this guy, guys, is the um, fragment shop for the Psy... That, that's the Psy Cube shop, basically, where you can get these six-star Psy Cubes. And that's why I would tell you to save up your resources right now, your upgrade materials, per se, till you have enough of these... Uh, Thoughts in entirety to buy one of these six stars. At per 20 GG, you can look like whatever your main DPS, for example, is what the unit prefers, for example. And I think this one here, for example, is for Lilia because this one gives crit rate and some other goodies. I have to look at it again. But basically, save up till you can buy one of these and then upgrade that Psy Cube in particular and give that to your unit which needs that one, right? And then you have others. There's like a different resource. That's the fought element, the, the, the lower rarity one, basically. Um, and once you have 200 here, you can get any of your choice, which is needed. And if you don't need anything, what you can do with your resources here is get your enlighten, which is basically your upgrade material for the Psy cubes. And this one here is whenever you feel like you need it, you can buy these. We just want to go with the crit rate. And then the next, the last component to upgrading our character is now the resonate. The resonate is, I'd say, your relic system. That's the closest explanation I can give you. And you level this one up. So this one for Lilia is level 3 right now. How do you upgrade this? You need these resources here. Okay, you need these resources. Um, so how do we get that? This one you get from the Fragment Shop, from Onuric. And I think from Story Mode you get it too. And you get it from the basically Tower Mode. I forgot the Limbo, but the stage before you get it. But I, the name is so long, I have no clue. And then you need these resources. So you can farm this by doing the story chapters as well. And or if you have still these um these the, these chest pieces, right, from early, which you picked up from starting the game, you can also just use these, right? Because the green ones don't really matter too much. So we picked that up here. And since I have it, you can also craft it from the wilderness. Um let's do it here because I have a couple of these. We pick this up, right? So now we have enough resources to upgrade um, the Resonate to level 4, which we will do now. So now this is upgraded and we get new um, puzzle pieces, Tetris pieces, okay? And this is the, I think this is your overall stats, which went up, what they do for these pieces. And then you need new resources here to upgrade again. And then we can also go here to load idea to look at what you have. And you can also just, I think it's good enough, but you can just click on quick load and it will just equip 
what makes most sense for Lilia, for example. And then we have like this piece, which gives 4% critical rate, which is good for her. Um, maybe we have like a single piece, which gives crit rate. No, we don't. And this is, does the exact same thing. And this is basically all we can do to upgrade our character. Obviously, we can still get her to level 50 inside level 3. But that's still like far away. We're only on day 2, no, 3, day 3 of this game right now. Uh, but that's basically it for today's videos, guys. I hope uh, I was able to help you out uh, with this. If you want to see more, leave a comment down below and also like the video as well so I can see if you're interested in the content as well. And lastly but not least um the wilderness is also a very very important content do not neglect the wilderness if you want to have a separate video about the wilderness how to upgrade stuff what to prioritize and so on and so forth also let me know in the comments down below and i will make a video about the wilderness next so thanks guys for watching see you next time bye bye